Say your RV has a broken uh, air conditioner and you've got a five button thermostat on the wall and you want to buy a new air conditioner and not replace both of them. So I don't know how many people are in that scenario but this happened to somebody I know so uh, first thing I recommend you do is build some type of sled like this one. Okay, we got a 2006 motorhome that one of the uh, air conditioners has failed on. It's beyond repair. It's not just a simple, simple capacitor. So we've gone ahead and gotten a new uh, Dometic heat pump, which I'll put the model number in the description. And the first step we have to do is swap out this control board on the side because Dometic has switched from a five button to a 12 button only this rig has a five button. So we're going to swap out this control board to make sure that it uh, can work with a five button thermostat. So I know what you're thinking. Should I just pay somebody to swap this circuit board out or should I try doing it myself? We broke open the board and the um, instructions and just did step by step. Uh, the instructions are really easy. You can't really screw up. There's nothing strange. You do have to swap out the uh, ambient temperature sensor, which is what that is. Otherwise, it won't fit. So the strangest thing is, these are the wires on the inside of your RV. There are six, two blue, two yellow, red and a black, two telephone cables, and then the power cables, which are separate. So you have the same number of wires after you swap out the control board on the air conditioner. Okay, this part can be done on the ground. You don't have to be up on the roof to do it on the air conditioner. So you've got your new air conditioner. You're gonna take the uh, protective cap cover off, open up the maintenance panel where the control board is, and then discharge your capacitor. If you don't know how to discharge a capacitor, then you shouldn't be messing with this. Alright, then we're going to remove the old, uh, the wires on top of the old control board, as you see in figure 5 here. Uh, then basically step 6 is take the control board off the um, mounting place. So figure 6 and 7, take the control board off. Figure eight there is remove the old ambient sensor. There's one screw for the one wire. Okay, that's pretty much it for the old unit. You're gonna prepare your new power board uh, by cutting a slip in the wiring harness. You're going to uh, terminate the yellow wire. You're not gonna use that anymore. That seems scary, but it's just snip the end off and put a butt connector on it. Install your new power board, your control board with your ambient sensor. Uh, this was, we got a little hung up on the dip switches, just whatever your old air conditioner is set to, set this one to it. They should have the same number of dip switches. Okay, mark an M on the module just to make sure that people know it's been modified because it looks like the original one. Then you're gonna do your red pin which is blatantly obvious it, it only goes to the red port the white pin to p4 uh, blue pin to p5 and then your four communication cable into the only place it's going to work and it doesn't matter what communication uh, cable gets plugged into what what place the telephone wires Okay, you're going to attach the 6-pin connector to the P6 on the power module, which is the only place it can connect. Uh, then you're going to stick the control board onto the electrical box the same way you took it, the old one off, pushing it onto the standoffs, those little plastic things. They click right on there, it's real easy. Then you're going to connect the thick black wire uh, to the left terminal, K5, just like the picture shows. I would definitely reference the picture on that one, left terminal at K5. And then you're going to do the thick blue wire to the right terminal at K6 on the power module board. 
and then you're going to swap out the thin black wire that goes to the motor to terminal T1 in figure 23 there. You got one more thin red wire to connect to T3 uh, easy there and they make the big deal out of this rewire reversing valve and on the other wire left over you're going to cut the terminal off uh, strip about half inch of that and then cut the end of the thick white wire stri strip a half end of that and on the next page you'll see that you're just going to splice those together so as you can see here you're going to connect the thick white wire with whatever wire you had left in our case it was a black one with a butt splice connector just a uh, wire cap and you'll have one wire left that is capped that's that yellow wire that that's not used then you just arrange all the wires inside the electrical box and batten it up so this re system reset and checkout you're not actually going to do any of that until you have your air conditioner up on the roof and then wired in uh, just like the old one will be you'll have the same wires everything will just plug right in it's pretty easy uh, there's some other great YouTube videos out there on how to install an air conditioner but it's four bolts the thing just sits there on the roof I've done two of them now they're 20 15 20 minutes a piece just make sure you have appropriate help to get the thing up there because it's heavy and build one of those sleds